those other two probably went back to the rooms. Oh, we have to go to get them. Okay, never mind. So we have to go get them. I was gonna go to the camera room. That's what I was gonna go to. Can we go there? Is it gonna allow us to? I need to get more info. Never mind. It's not gonna let us. We have to go talk to them. Now, what would they be at? Okay, so Toko is in a room. And so is Yasuhiro. Alright. Let's go talk to talk Toko first. It might be a little bit easier to talk to her here. Where is she? There she is. Press the doorbell. And after a few seconds. The most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? Maybe, I guess, now? <laughs> Obviously, I'm annoyed. Toko slithered out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Yeah. <clears throat> I want to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. Wow! Well. I don't know what you're talking about. Byaki already told me he had, uh, he had asked to meet with him. She had asked. <laughs> what? She wanted to meet with Master too. I feel so awkward saying yeah, like saying her line, especially when she says the word Master. It feels so weird. Ugh. God, I'm getting, I'm getting the Toko cringe. Ugh. Hashtag Toko cringe. <laughs> no, I mean Toko is a sweet girl. Like she is sweet. She's you know very misunderstood. She just wants to be able just to you know express herself, and she doesn't know how to. I guess that's a thing with the I don't know if it's a common thing with riders. Riders, please let me know if that's a common thing. <laughs> ah, I just s s said two, didn't I? <laughs> she did. I guess now it's t t totally obvious, huh? Y yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? <laughs> I admit it, I get the note. I did get the note. But I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm. Toko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as a fact. Mm -hmm. Is that g good enough? Then I'm going to back to m my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Toko's account has been added to the Truth Bullet section of the handbook. Alright. Yeah, so Hero can investigate her room. The Sakura's room. I feel like we could probably investigate and find a lot about Sakura's room, but we don't have the pass. Can we still open the door, though? I don't think we can. No, I guess we can to this point. But I think we hung out with her. Jesus Christ. I'm glad I hung out with her even a little bit. I think we became decent friends with her before the passing. Damn, it's actually kind of sad. I press the doorbell. And after a few seconds. You know? <clears throat> Let's try this again. What's up, Makoto? Do you need something? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. What? what? Uh, how'd you know about that? Could it be... Uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Uh, um... But I I'm... I'm the only one who wanted to meet with him. Um, she wanted to meet with... Ogre, Ogre told me herself that she asked Byaku and Toko to come too. <clears throat> Wait, yeah. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byaku and Toko to come too. What? What did Sakura tell you that? What? What? Uh, uh, well, uh, um. When she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Uh, yeah, a, a note. She, uh. Look, I don't want to come to any conclusions, right? I don't not want to come to any conclusions, but this looks kind of suspicious. How about that? She gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others, like in passing. 
I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. Yeah, thank you, Makoto. So then you went and met with Sakura? You got it all wrong! No way! I totally didn't! Why would I ever do that? Oh, that's better voice, I like that. Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually... The last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and took her to the nurse's office. D don't look at me! I haven't seen her since then! While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, um... Oh, um... Do I still have it? Let's see... Hero was feeling around his pockets. Hey, come on! Ah, uh, sorry! Looks like I don't have it anymore! With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of his pocket. Hero's pocket. Huh? Huh? Uh, what? Quick as a wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back in his pocket. Hey, come on! <laughs> Sorry, a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash? What? what? <clears throat> anyway, I kid you not that Ogre asked me to meet with her, uh, to meet with me, but I never went. So, well, if you excuse me. Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slid back into his room. Hero said that it was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Pocket trash has been added to the truth blood section of a handbook. Okay, so I heard from Toko and Hero. Um, what's next? I'll definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe we should find out more about the protein can we found on the floor of the rec room. I'm sure it must have come with the chem lab, or from the chem lab. So, where should I start? Literally the chem lab. This is extremely suspicious. I look like I don't know what it is, but it's giving me some weird signs, like very obvious signs here. And I kinda wanna question them. Right? I mean look, we dealt with Mr. Number One. That was not too difficult to solve. Mr. Number two was a whole other hodgepodge with Byakuya tampering with the crime scene. That was a mess. Mr. Number three, that was just insanity. This is coming off to be extremely easy. I don't know why, but this is coming off to be extremely easy. So why did Yasuhiro, first of all, have the wrapper? Nobody, and here I'm gonna show you, nobody but Aoi has ever had the candy, polka dot candy wrapper. At one point, Aoi has been injured and taken to the nurse's office. After she was taken care of, she gave a piece of candy to Sakura, which had the stuff of wrapper. According to Aoi, she had monopolized this candy as soon as it became available, so obtaining a piece would have been difficult to impossible. She loves a candy. Let the, girl, let the girl have a candy, you guys. Let the girl have a candy. She loves it. <laughs> go, go and save right here, I guess. There you go. So it's really ex ex extremely suspicious that that would be part of it. I'm kind of wondering if maybe we can find something in here by any chance. We should check the camera room, that's the first thing we really should do, but... I don't know, for some reason I feel like maybe the mysteries would include the previous rooms. I'm kind of glad they don't, because otherwise that would have been another hodgepodge, to be honest, to keep up with. Jesus. Alright, let's go back to the fourth floor then. Let's go back to the camera room. I don't think there's a way to fast travel, is there? Let's check. Fourth floor. Oh! We can fast travel, wow! I did not know that. I'm glad I know that now. Awesome. Let's check the bathroom here, investigate every single part of the room. This is the girl's bathroom. Oh wait, wrong one. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, my bad, I just saw bathroom, I just went in. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so can we find anything here? Nothing. Right, there's literally nothing here. I'm guessing there's no point of even being in the bathroom at this point. We just gotta go to find the camera room, right? Cam room, cam room, cam room. This place, we still gotta enter it at a certain point. No good, the door's locked. Guess we won't be getting in here. We could break the window, right? And try to open it. We could. I mean, Murakuma haven't made a rule about that yet, so that's good. Okay, let's go investigate the cam room. That's the first thing we need to investigate here. They be getting me on the fifth floor, Jesus Christ. That's gonna be a mess and a half to be dealing with, to be completely honest. Okay. Alrighty then. What? Makoto, do you have your eye on the chem labs too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you mean to say was, yes sir, I understand. Makoto, don't say it. Don't give this... Don't give this guy respect at all. So clearly something is spilled over here. 
and footsteps. The only two things to investigate here. The first is the cabinet. This is my first time seeing this shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. It looks like the three shelves are being connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now, what's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to step on it. Let's probably check the shelves here first. Let's see, what's in this shelf? There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicine. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with letter A as a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelves and unit section A. Huh? But wait. I did notice that. There's one bottle here that's labeled Cam C9. Could someone may have put it here on accident? No, this is no accident. This is a continual crime, ladies and gentlemen. I know what this is. So on this shelf is... Looks like a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea what they are. Hmm. They're reagents. Put simply, they're using the experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? What, you think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? That's fine. Well, I mean... <laughs> um, I never actually need to know square root of pi and really use it in the real world, to be completely honest, with the quadratic equation. To be completely honest. <laughs> but still... The world's of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right now I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with letter B and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelf unit section B. Hmm, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. In which case, I don't think I'll have to worry too much about the shelf. What about this here? On this shelf is... One look and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. It looks like poisons on the powerful chemicals. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with letter C and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section C. I should try to find more about the shelving unit. Let's say it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, section B has reagents, and section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A. But what concerns me is that in section A there was a bottle with a label from section C. What was a bottle of poison from section C doing in section A? There's definitely something going on here. Camelab shelf has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Oh, okay, this is a powdery substance. Oh, that's... Psh, I figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody must have added this dangerous powdery substance into the protein shake that Sakura was drinking. And mix it together, and since it's powder, it's gonna be di really difficult to tell apart because powder is very grainy, right? It's almost like sand. If you combine it together, it's extremely diff difficult to tell apart. So I'm pretty sure Sakura didn't notice it and just made a mixture of protein shake with it, and that's how she died, I'm guessing. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where the powder came from? Looks like the bottle had labeled on it Chem, four, chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning, checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. So in other words... That's right. It could have been around the time of the incident. If, if that really is when it happened, it must be related to the case somehow. Source of the powder has been added to, th to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Let me check out this thing that Byakuri just told me. Some about time, right? But it could have been spilled after the incident. According to Byakuya, the powder would have to have been spilled after the incident took place. Why? Who would go back and try to spill it though? You know? Why would somebody go back and try to spill it? That's a weird clue there. I don't know if I like that. And we got some footprints as well. These are footprints? Not only in front of the sh uh, left shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene of the hole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. But we... Uh, by we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer. With an insufferable smirk, he hand me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Well, let's go. Chop chop. Okay. 
So I got to work, and before long, I drawn up a sketch of the room. Uh, so how's this? Quad, man, artwork, top of the line. <laughs> Not bad. For you, I mean. For me? I see. So when you look at it like this, interesting. It would appear that whoever left the footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to the shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. This, foot this footprints must be. It's certainly possible. Makoto, are they yours? No. What? Okay. Let me tell you. Let me see your shoes, and I'll confirm the size for myself. I couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Gakuya said. Hmm. I see. If you appear, do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit they are not your footprints. Unfortunately? Hmm. He's trying to get us. Trying to get us, son of a bitch. But with how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And those prints are really valuable clue. I wonder if you can find residue in people's shoes about this. I think we got everything here. We can go ahead and back away from here. First I have to check out the area. Wait, what else did you check out? Oh, this. There you go. This, the sand over here. A bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. It's better not, uh, I better not leave a footprint. I should probably take a good, hard look at what, at, at the powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scatters on the floor in front of the shelf. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. Looks like the bottle was labeled Cam C4. Also, it looks like someone left the footprints in the powder. Based on the positioning of the prints, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shelf. According to Byakuya, the powder would have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Footprints and powder has been added to the Truth Bullet section of the handbook. I've already taken a good look at the cam lab. Maybe we should take another look around the rec room. So, let's say hypothetically, whoever killed, you know, whoever killed Sakura and smashed a bottle on the head and then caused the, the door to be blocked, comes back here to put away the chemicals, right? Let's say hypothetically, comes back here after the murder's already happened to put away the chemicals. They accidentally break the C, uh, the C canister, and instead of cleaning up, they just hide it in A? I don't know, actually. What is the reason for all this? Why is C over here broken, right? Why is the C chemical broken near the seashell? Clearly somebody was trying to put it away and maybe it dropped it or something. And while they dropped it, they backed away, maybe decided to leave footprints over to the A? To just put away the other, chem the other chemical they found over in A? This is extremely weird. I want to kind of figure out what's going on here. Let's see if we can talk to Byakuya about this. Maybe question him about the note. I see. Makoto, I mean, you have a good eye for spotting use useful clues, <laughs> but you also need to learn how to make use of those clues. I guess that's about it. That's literally nothing else. Nothing else for us to do. We gotta go back to the rec room. Whew. This is stressful. I'm legit trying to rationalize everything. Seems like we should really just be looking out of people's shoes. That's what we should be doing. We should be looking at people's shoes at the moment. Go back to the rec room. Rec room, rec room, rec room. The other floor, there you go. It's a third floor, I believe. Let's go through here. There we go. I'll go to fast travel, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I feel like we should be looking at people's shoes, to be honest. If they had... Footprints, footprints, footprints. I feel like we need to be looking at people's shoes. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to Blah, Blah, Blah. Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts are the treasure of the I kind of want to say you could dress better. Mm. 